bunkers all around your house. Who are you that's gonna get into position? They need some cover here, Dunny. Smoke the door. We got a fire. This will be our next customer right here. Please. They decide to hurt themselves. Well, I want to see a search one. You're not going to, because there isn't one. Why are you stopping me? I mean, you drove up to it. <laughs> you crashed. Right now, you're under arrest for being an idiot, OK? Mind, we don't need to be on the news. The most people that we're dealing with tonight are like yourself. You're very pro-police. What's their names? I'd have to pull the file. He packed the girl up on her shoulder, and they've gone to check out if the other guy's gone to hospital. Where's uh, the ambulance attendants? They're there. Uh, yeah. I live, I live in the bottom corner here, and I heard them. The guy threatened to kill her a couple times, forced her up the stairs. He uh, grabbed her by the throat. OK, where are they? Right here, top corner. This one up here. Like, no matter if she's drunk or not, there's no no right for a guy to touch a woman. Okay. <laughs> Burnaby, uh, 18. Go ahead. Yeah, just let it be known we're in the uh, apartment building 12. 12 or 12. Okay. So, did you, you just heard him? Well, I live in Cobble too, eh? Okay. And I was just getting ready to go to bed, so I got to go to work in the morning. Okay. And I heard her screaming. Yes. And I heard, I, I looked out the window, he had his arm cuffed around her throat, choking her. Okay. She was screaming. And he kept yelling at her. Okay. okay. Stop or I'll kill you. Okay, you know? just, just stop. Me! Okay, good now. Yeah. All right, we're just going to try and talk to her here, okay? Joy. The worst thing I've ever seen. Seriously? No! What's wrong, Joy? Nothing. Get out. No, we're not going to get She's okay. I can take care of it. I'll just. Just, just wait. One person, two at a time. You guys are going to make it worse. No, no, no. Is she just drunk? Yes, she's drunk. Get out. She's, she's too drunk. drunk. Yeah. Do you guys live together? Yes. Yeah. That's why I'm telling you guys. No, I'm not. He's a piece of shit. You said you were. I said you have some blood on your hands. Good for you. Hey, Joy. Joy. Hey. 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 Relax. Relax. Okay. We're here to help you. Okay. Good for you. We're here to help you. Come on. All right, it's no need to be talking like that, okay? Good. Have a seat there. Have a Good. seat. Good. Sit down before you help yourself. yourself. Have a seat. Have a seat. No. Have a seat. No. Uh, Come on. Uh, no. you just, Look, You're her boyfriend? I just yes. Alone. All right. Yeah. Joy, just let us check your no. I can calm her down easily. Yeah. Someone yeah. just called because they thought you were hurt. Did I say hello to these men? He's the ambulance. Who's the ambulance? Did I call for you? Someone else called because they called for that. They didn't call for me. Burnaby 18. Did I call for you? No, I did. Yeah, we're in apartment 12. Pat's on his way. Make sure you're okay. 12, 2, 3, copy. She's drunk. Okay. All right. Okay, but we we got a complaint also that there might be a possible assault here. Okay. I took her home. That's it. Mm -hmm. She broke the window. I took her home. That's it. Where did she break the window? In six o nine. Okay. Guess. Did you know the guy that? I don't know them. No. What was she doing person. there in the first place? Well, we were all there. Okay. Having a beer, you know. You were all there partying. Yeah. Okay, well, how come she's she, the way she, she is? Got, she broke this tank. Hey. Something. Okay. I said, come on, baby. Six she's rough. Uh -huh. up. Does okay. She she's drunk. Like no, no. Well, I mean, this is, this is out of control. Drunk here. We're talking. Yeah. She's always every time she gets yeah. drunk. Uh, she's just, rowdy. she's just in the. She's out of control. There. Okay. Yeah. Did you, did you put her in a headlock at all no. or anything? I brought her home. That's I, it. I carried her home. 
home. You carried her home. I okay. Carried but her was home. she like was she just out I of control? Put her like, arm when around me and I'll carry you. And you got here. I put her on the couch and you guys showed up. Okay. I just want to seriously. Okay. Could, could it be that when you were bringing her home that she was just throwing herself around and may have looked as if you're trying to rough her up? Sure, could be. Okay. Well, that's what we're trying to determine here. Uh, were you with yeah, them? I just tried. Were you with them? I was just trying to calm people out on that. Uh, Nobody uh, else. Hey, hey, Joy. Joey, just stay in here. Your boyfriend wants you to stay in here, okay? All right? You can't go. Listen, Arrest listen. No. Yeah, listen. Yeah. I don't want to go. She's under arrest. Not me. No! Okay, you can go. Okay, okay. Go. Listen. Go. Just take it easy. Oh, Go. 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 You're under arrest. You're under arrest for being drunk in a public place and for causing a disturbance. Put her down. Yeah. Car. Are you behind me, Nick? No, I'm parked. Yeah. Let's. Might as well carry her. Here, I'll take her. Don't start kicking. Don't start kicking, okay? It's only going to make it worse, all right? Just calm down, okay? No. Let me go. Calm down. Do you want me to take the boots off? Let me go. Let me go, you adventures. Take them off. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go. Got it. Maybe better if it's face it's down. Flip her around. No, listen, listen. This is her. She's already under arrest. Okay, we're gonna bring her back to the office and she's gonna sober up. All right. She's got a big time problem and she's gonna have to deal with it. All right. She's she's going now. Oh. All right. Okay. No. If you just walk. Oh, like I can, you. Well, if you want us to turn you around, we'll turn you around so you can walk. All right? Oh. Come on. If you want to walk, you can walk. But we don't know it. We're going to look after our arms. Yeah. Watch your step. Dude, you guys can walk for all you want. No, we didn't. Oh, I see. Listen. It all. Don't Listen. shit me. I know how the fing program works, okay? You can't tell me nothing, I've seen it. What's what's her last name? Okay? What's her last name? I ain't name? telling you nothing, man. All you had to do was sit her here. I would have put my arm around her. I wouldn't have choked her or anything. Put my arm around her, babe. Relax, okay? The cops are here. Calm down. Oh, but she yeah. would have calmed down. She listens to me. It's the only person she listens to. She's been up in her life. How old is she? 19. Man. She's 19? She's had three boyfriends that beat the shit out of her. I'm the first one that doesn't. How long you been with her? Two years. Two years. She listens to me. Babe, calm down. It's okay. Are you guys from Vancouver? Did you just move in here from somewhere else or whatever? Oh, okay. All right. She's Okay. She's okay with me. No, let everybody be cool. Right? Yeah, we're everybody. You guys are cops. Yeah. We're cool. You guys must know how the f***ing public, like our side of the public, like... <laughs> Some, Thanks some of you. Some of the public. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Uh, the majority right? of the public is quite in favor of us. Okay, so am I, actually. Okay. Like the truth. okay. All right. Say your piece. But all you, you guys don't say, I got to talk to you and this and that. All you had to do was sit her down. We asked her. I said, would you please sit down so you we can don't talk ask to her? her, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, okay. Well, listen. You guys got to figure this. All right. All right. You guys are so you come there was. The room. All right. You're supposed to see that. So let's talk you about what happened. Because you're a cop. Okay. She's the kind of lady that says, "Cop, you f***ing bitch. 
Okay. Whatever, you know. All right. All right. She doesn't like color. Well, she Let's did say that. Let's go beyond oh, that. Oh, there you go. Right? <laughs> okay. Excuse me, sir. That's why I say, sir, put her here. Not let's yeah. put my arm around her. She's okay, so we're going to we're gonna head out here and go to the other place, and uh, I hope uh, things yeah. get better. I wish you all the luck in the world, okay? Okay, great. Thanks. And uh, her boots, we just slipped her boots off, okay, because she was starting yeah, but, uh, to flick and flip. Okay. Oh, okay, good, yeah. yeah. Okay, good enough. Oh, he's there, all he, they have suggested is because of the problems up there, they were trying to get her out of there because she was out of control. And then they got into a bit of a, an argument with the people that are at the suite. We've talked to them about that, and they've indicated that uh, they're willing to cover the damages in that suite, and we're just going to give them their name and, and uh, suggest that to them. They have no problems with covering the damages. They were just simply trying to get her out of there because she was out of control. Okay. She, she smashed a window, and, yeah, no, and she was drunk. Is it, when they is it not against home? the law for somebody to threaten someone with their life? while choking him from behind? Well, his concern was somebody had called his girlfriend a name and he got a little bit out of control because he's drunk as well. No, he choked and her right out here and threatened her and there forced no her up the stairs. Yeah. You know, and, and I, maybe that very well could have happened. You said, yeah, you I were right there, there, but uh, she's really out of control yeah. and maybe he was just trying to get her up the stairs you, and you, into you the apartment. You must have seen how much trouble we had trying you know, to get her out there of there was yeah, three of us putting that. her down. Yeah. So, so, you know, um, I'll get your name actually, all right? Okay. Just because you okay. were here and you went is that just in case there's any uh, further re repercussions from this uh, little I'll incident. Six All right. Okay. Excuse me. They barged in, and the girl was really drunk, and she fell she, into the fish tank. Our salamander was in there, and our okay. fish. Can we have a look to just yeah. see what the damage We don't even know who the they glass. were. Picked up all the glass. We know they live in building 12. That's what we've been dealing with, but okay. look what they did. Okay. See, are the animals okay? Well, the one no, animal, two fish are dead. Well, the fish are squashed. The fish there, but I got okay. the I got the salamander. All right, I'll just get your name, and uh, okay. if you like, the, the, the people in 1208, and we talked, and they agreed to cover the damages. Um, she came in here and she started pushing me around. I was like, uh -huh. she yeah, pushed please her get out, whatever. And uh, I talked to her boyfriend. I said, please, can you get her out? And she saw me talk to her boyfriend. She pushed me, and then he he grabbed her. He basically threw her into the fish tank. Yeah, he threw her in. They went downstairs, we went out the balcony, and we looked inside, and he was punching her, he was kicking her. He, he she was, was fighting back, obviously. Well, he I was, would too. He was kicking he her was kicking right her. down she, the stairs. He was doing everything to her. I mean, he was he physically threw her right down the stairs, and Backwards. then our friend across the hall, they pushed him right through the window. He said, there's kids, like all kids who are in, the, in the, all the different apartments, there's this kids here, please calm down, and he threw him through the glass. He and threw his him arm right, went yeah. right through the glass and he cut his arm and everything. Mm -hmm. So they went totally out of control, both of them. What we're doing right now is uh, we've obtained sufficient evidence to go back and arrest the common law boyfriend or husband, whatever you want to call him, for assault and uttering threats. As a result of information obtained, all right, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to arrest you, yes. all right? Kate, no, just a minute. You can. You don't have to face the camera if you don't want to, okay? Want to. Okay, well, listen, don't run away from me. You can just stab your back to me, but I'm going to inform you that you're in arrest for assault and you're in arrest for uttering threats, okay? Do you understand that? Yep. You have against, the right? Against? Against Joy, okay? You have the right to retain and instruct counsel without delay. Yep. If you wish to contact a, a lawyer, I can provide you with a telephone number. Mm -hmm. Okay, you understand all that? Okay, anything you do say to me will be used in evidence. Yep. You understand that? I'll read that to you again from a proper card when we get to the office. Yep. All right? Good enough. If you just want to maybe finish your smoke there. Okay. I'm not going to... Okay, well, listen, I'm going to grab you by the arm and we'll just walk towards no, the car, no, okay? No. All right, good enough. Okay. So you're telling me that I stop some well, more shit happening I get charged from it? Okay. Just hear me out and I'll explain okay. to you what we got, okay? I'm not, I'm not gonna fight you. No, I didn't. I didn't say you were. Okay? All I'm saying is from information that. You might go my arm. It doesn't look good. Guys. Okay. Come on. I'm All right. not gonna run or anything. Well, technically, I'm supposed to have you handcuffed. I know, but All right. I'm not going nowhere. All right. Listen, as a result of information <laughs> that we've received, okay, from uh, various different people who reside here, they have informed us that, uh, you know, Joy was assaulted and uh, there were what threats uttered. Say? Huh? Well, you, Joy can talk to us in the morning, okay? But yeah. she's in no, no, no mood to talk to us right now. Can Here, my car is right there. Okay. Can I ask you you sure can. You don't like I said. You don't have to say anything to me, okay? I don't care because I right. didn't do anything wrong. Well, okay. I don't care what I say. 
How much have you had to drink tonight? <laughs> Quite a bit. Yeah? Okay, what are you drinking? I, Beer I, or I hard stuff? Uh, I had tequila and a couple beers. Okay, good enough. Just slide in there. Watch your head when you're getting in. Hey, no, don't worry. Don't worry. You're... Yeah, I don't want my face yeah. on TV. Man. Got ya. Yeah. Okay. BOF from uh, Interpol in Washington. Subject has been entered on NCIS system. If located, do not arrest based solely on this information. I've been here for just about seven years and uh, it's a very busy place and it has a, uh, a way of grinding people down after a while. Uh, just because of the volume of calls and uh, we're always facing a manpower shortage which is very common to most police forces. So it, it, uh, there's always something different. Just when you think you've seen it all in, in this area, you, you always uh, see something new. The file we're going on right now is uh, uh, the complaint is actually New West Police Department. They've uh, reported that somebody has jumped off or gone off the uh, Patella Bridge. Um, could be a suicide. And, uh, and we call Coast Guard to search the waters underneath. We're going there to block off the traffic. Um, we're going there to block off the traffic. I'm a, little con I'm a little confused whether the person is still on the bridge or is about to go off the bridge. I'm going to block off the traffic at this time if the person is already off the bridge. So New West is calling for assistance. We're heading over there. It'll be a Surrey file because uh, we look after everything on the Patella Bridge. Okay, we've just got an update from New Westminster, uh, cleared up my confusion. The jumper, or the potential jumper, the person is still on the bridge. New Westminster is talking to the person right now, so hopefully we'll be able to talk him down off the bridge. We're going to go right up to the scene around the traffic and see if we can help out. One thing you want to do for certain is you don't want to come up there screaming lights and sirens and, and frighten the person that's probably already very frightened on the bridge right now. You want to go up you know, very slow approach and casual approach and talk to the people and see if you can help them out. So that cleared up that. We know now that the uh, person is still on the bridge. And where's Dave? He's not here yet. Either. Is he coming up? Well, I don't know. All right. New West sound like they got it in hand. All right. But if he goes, he's our file, I guess. You betcha, yes. Okay, I'll roll guys. up very carefully. No lights. Let me know as soon as I get traffic through. Okay, I'll let you know as soon as possible. Thanks, Gary. Send Dave up when you can. Okay, so as you can see right now, the, uh, the bridge is totally shut off. There's no traffic coming or going. The reason for that, you don't want to spook the person. Okay, well, um, at present time, I, I need other members to clear for the entirety of someone working copy clear. Bravo 4 is 100 feet away. Dinner, copy, you're going to the bridge. He's, he's right here, they're holding him. He's on the other side of the railing. For you guys, I'll tell you, New West Minister is the second best police force around here. You guys really are. All right, you want to attempt to pull him over? Oh, yeah, I can do that. I think I've got one in my car. What we're getting right now is the foot restraints, commonly referred to as a hog tie. 
fella. I got a hog tie here. We're gonna have to restrain the guy. He's right out of control. He's on the other side of the railing, and he's, he's handcuffed because he was just ready to go when the new Westminster member grabbed him. So we're gonna try to bring him over the rail, throw the hog tie on him, bring him right to the psych ward of uh, Surrey Memorial. Okay. Okay. Relax, relax, pal. Relax. Relax. Leave me alone, man. We're not going to leave you alone, man. Relax, and you're coming over. Too bad, too late. Watch his boots. Watch his boots on the boots. Who's got the? Who's got the rope? Don't I got the tie. I got the hog. I don't want to do. Step on him there. Okay. Yeah, hold it. Okay. Get that rope open. Yeah. Play there. there. Where's the hog tie? Hog tie right here. I need one tie. One boot. Okay. This boot's all strong. Okay. Why don't you take the boot right off? Right off. Right off. Right off. Right off. Right off. Right off. Okay. Boot. Take the other one off. Two fires out. Okay. I got one foot. Where's the other foot? Okay, the other foot's under. I'll go for that one. Step on. Relax. Relax, Paul. Relax. Okay. Hold on. Before we put that on, put that boot with the spur off. Okay. 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 You got the okay. feet control. Okay. Hold on, we're gonna do the top. Are you okay? Here. I put the box in the truck. Okay. 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 Just relax, okay? You're not going to go anywhere with this many policemen around. Roll over onto your stomach. Yeah. 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 Hold on. I guess you're probably just gushing over. You're in the back of your head. Roll over onto your stomach. Oh, you're fine. Roll them over. Okay. Roll them over. Okay. Okay, I'll yeah, bring the feet back. Right yeah. to the cup. Okay. Okay. You got a lot of rope. Okay. 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 He was ready to go, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. I had to put my arm around on his neck, and then uh, the other officer had to grab his arm. But then he stuck his legs through the uh, between the pillars there. We couldn't move him. So oh, uh, I'll tell you, it was, it was a good thing you had enough guys here. Well, he was he was out to jump. He was going on, on his way. Oh, absolutely. Who? How'd this come in? Jumped on the bridge. All right. Huh? Well, you guys saved it on first. Thanks a lot. You guys are a second. And it's nice to see you again, too. We'll yeah. catch you later, eh? Yeah. I'll follow you to the hospital. Okay. You okay. take these. I'll query them. I've got a first. Okay. 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 New West, thanks a million. You guys are good. Thanks, man, guys. Thanks for coming. Good job. Thank, thanks for having us, eh? Yes, yes, by all means, yeah. All right. Okay, we're taking them back to cells. Okay, great. Thanks a million. He's intoxicated, I thought so. Okay, I'll follow, I'll follow you back. So, all's well, ends well, that one. Uh, he really wanted to go as soon as the police arrived. 
and uh, New Westminster member uh, was lucky and fortunate enough to get one handcuff on, handcuffed him to the bridge, and even then uh, he was resisting all the way. What's, hap what's happening now is we have the uh, gentleman in custody, he's intoxicated, and uh, we're taking him to Surrey Memorial Hospital, uh, and they'll deal with him at that point. Uh, perhaps they're going to uh, I'm not aware of any calls, uh, to turn him over to us uh, until he's sober like in the morning. Then we'll, we may bring him back, but it's their call. Mike, yeah. just so you know, he's cautioned Victor. They were three separate charges on probation for assault. Okay. Okay, we've got the hog tie off. You can sit up. Wait, wait, I'll tell you what, I'll pull you out this way, okay? All right, just relax. I'm not hurting you. Let's go. Watch yourself. Okay, here we go. That's it. That's it. You Man, what the? Relax, relax. What? What the are you? We told you to relax, didn't we? Didn't we tell you to relax? We brought you down here. Make sure you weren't going to do anything bad yourself, and uh, that's why you're here. You'll be looked right. after. Can you take your necklace off and put it in your picture? Okay, just bump your necklace off. Come on, we don't want to go through this whole rigmarole again. You get some sleep, and uh, that'll be that. Yeah. Feel better in the morning. Wear off the booze. <laughs> Come on. Get the okay. All right. You want to do one on one? Okay, sit down. I'll take her, I'll put you out, okay? I'll put you out. Okay. Hey. Okay. Are you cooperating? That's right, I told you. Is there another one? You bet. Okay, are we clear? No, it's still warm. I just might wait till uh, we get out of here. Yeah. Just wait a second, I'll get your pen here. Come on. Relax. Sit down on the floor, who you are. Relax, relax. Which one of you guys has got the keys? I do. Okay. No, the keys to this room. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting out of here. What's happening now is he's been admitted to the okay. hospital. A doctor has looked at him, has certified him, and is uh, now admitting him to the uh, psych ward where he'll be kept for a couple days um, to be visited by doctors. And in all likelihood, he'll be released in a few days once uh, they have his condition under control. So that's basically the end of the uh, police investigation. It ends right here at the hospital. And uh, we make a note of that. The file is drawn up, and all the uh, circumstances are mentioned on the file as to what exactly transpired tonight. So if there is a reoccurrence down the road sometime, the members responding to that call that night at that time will be well aware of this, uh, this character here tonight. Busy night tonight. Yeah. And it was like I said, I was just trying to help him out. I borrowed a friend's car tonight. No, you know, I'm. Anyone uh, near the grouse who can stop by with the TI for no insurance? I have insurance, man. There's insurance on the car. Oh, there isn't insurance on the car. Show me. It's February 1990. Show me some papers that say there's insurance. Well, it should say right there. It doesn't. This says December 31st, 90. And our computer says December 31st, 90. So the plate means. So she's bullshitted to me then. Well, I don't know if she's bullshitted or you're bullshitting. I'm not bullshitting. What, what? I'm not bullshitting. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> Honest to God, I wouldn't have stopped to help this guy out if I was bullshitting. Sorry, from Bravo 10, I'll be on info. We had been uh, making patrols through the Grouse Creek Motel about uh, 20 minutes ago, saw a vehicle, ran the license plate number, and came back as being expired, so there's no insurance on the car. The fellow claimed to have no ID, provided uh, name and date of birth. When we read on the computer, we couldn't get anything on it. No criminal record, no warrants, no driver's license, no information at all. In searching the vehicle, there was a piece of paper with a different name. Ran that name, and uh, it does come back with some history. What am I under arrest for? You're under arrest for obstruction and no insurance. Put your hands behind your back. 
What else am I on the road for? Isn't that enough? No, it isn't. Because, uh, let's see what happens every time I give my name. You no, if you had given your real name in the first place, you wouldn't I, I, be under arrest. Because every time I do, I get punched out. Man. You don't understand what I've gone through in my entire life of living with you guys. Did it look like I was going to punch you out? Yes, it is. Look Let's at you. Go. So, uh, what's the charge? Obstruction, really would like possession of stolen property, possession and no stolen insurance. Property. Yeah. What's the possession of stolen property? The tag on your license plate stolen. Jump oh, in. Oh, well, I just bought the car. The registration's in your hand, sir. Jump in. Oh, oh my God. You're looking for anything. You're a f***ing pimp. You know that? You're a f***ing pimp. Think about it. You're picking your f***ing nose, thinking about anything you can get on me, man. F***ing give your head a shake. I mean, hey, man. Can I, you know, think about what you're doing, buddy. You're incredible. And I don't care if I don't get out by eight or ten or ten. That's okay. You know? You're a f***ing goof, that's all I know. The biggest goof I ever met in the RCMP force, man. I, actually, I've always respected you guys, man. In the last five or six years, there's always dumb f*** like you. It never fails. F***ing obstruction. You're looking for anything, anything to get somebody that's trying to stay straight. That's how sick you are. I can tell how hard you've been trying to stay straight. I've been trying pretty hard, buddy. I, take a look at my record. I've been in trouble all my life. In the last eight years, I've done nothing wrong. Exactly. And every time I gave my name, sir, I get punched out. I got no teeth because of you guys, man. No teeth at all. Okay, that's why I lied. Well, in 11 years, I've never seen anyone get punched out and get oh, their teeth hey, knocked out. Well, you do, oh, I've got punched out, man. You don't know me because you don't know my, obviously you don't know my reputation, sir. Well, that must be a reflection of your uh, demeanor as opposed to anything else. Must have been. Must have been. I agree with you, Cole. No wonder everybody Can we go so I can get this done, please? Your car will be towed to Coastline Towing. Uh, no, it's fine. It's f***ing fine where it is. It's perfectly legal. And don't Sorry from, it, or info there. from Bravo My 10. Lives in this block and this car can be parked. You come can I uh, no, 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 get no. coastline to this location? Hey, what the f well, Gregory car? will be waiting. That f***ing car can okay, be parked there, you Gross Creek Motel. Hey, you parked my f***ing, well, what's the f***ing, what do you mean? It's perfectly legal where it is, man. They already said it was. Ask him. Hello? Hello, you f***er. Oh, you're a f***ing c***, man. You're a real f***ing c***. Look at you, eh? You're a f***ing goof. You piece of f***ing shit. The car is perfectly legal there, buddy. You be paying for the toll bill with my lawyer's seat, not me. That's but fine. Legal. I have a room here, buddy. <laughs> you f***ing tow my car away. Hey, I have a room monthly here, bud. You said you live over on 93 I Avenue. Yeah, when I told you, I remember I'm getting charged with obstruction. You, you, you forget already, you dumb f***er. <laughs> Pull my car away, buddy, you'll be paying for it. That's all I can say. That's all I can say, because I've been here, I'm here monthly. F***ing A, buddy. You pull that f***ing car away, look out. Hey, roll that way. Hey, you want to my car? Mike, you. A real mouthpiece here, Dale. Oh, I'm not a mouth person. I'm just I'm no, a mouth person. I'm not a mouthy person. I just uh, oh. I just uh, lied about my name and uh, you can't you lied to the police. Yes, sir. People don't normally do that. Oh well, no, but usually when they get their heads kicked in, they do. Keep your mouth shut. Don't have to swear. Oh, okay. Well, usually when they get their heads kicked in, they they don't you know because I had a bad reputation when I was a kid, right? Oh, well, there you go. Well, and that's why I lied about my name. He'll be held for a short time anyways until I determine what sort of criminal record he has. If he has a series of uh, previous failure to appear, he'll likely be held um, overnight and uh, taken to court in the morning, and the judge can decide what to do with him. Otherwise, uh, he'll probably be released from here within a few hours on a promise to appear uh, to attend court at a later date, about two months down the road. I don't get a blank. Do I have a blank? Excuse me. Attending uh, to the area of Kingsway and Rhodes, we have a uh, report of three sheriffs who have apprehended a uh, purse snatcher. Um, 
Go ahead. You're in the area, the female victim is there, and uh, they'll be holding him for us when we get up there. Apparently there's no injuries. Okay, you spot him? Yes. Were you all out in the, in the park yeah, or jogging? Or? Playing oh, baseball. Well, I was actually sitting baseball. in the truck. What did you see? I saw the male coming out, running with a purse. Um, I saw about 10 uh, oriental people chasing him, older and younger, going to catch him, grab him, grab him. See a young oriental running with a purse that uh, just doesn't go with his attire, you sort of chase him. Um, so I chased him, he dropped the purse, he fell, uh, I grabbed him, and then they all came up behind me saying, oh yeah, he stole the purse, so I just held him. And that was about it. Where's the victim? She's on the car. She's been here for okay. uh, two hours now in Vancouver. <laughs> two hours? Two She's hours in Vancouver? Two hours. Wow. Welcome to Vancouver. Yeah, great, eh? Is all the property in there? Yeah. I, I don't know. I just picked time. it up like that. It was it was zipped shut. It wasn't open. <clears throat> well, it looks like she lucked out. Yep. Running through a park with a okay. He's handcuffed? Yeah. Yep. You carry your own handcuffs on no, you? No, uh, actually, she just came from the GI training. Uh, I see. Okay. You want to stand up? What's your name? What's your name? Francis. Francis. Okay, you understand you're under arrest, Francis, eh? Okay. What's going to happen here is you're going to be lodged at 312. That's our jail. You're under arrest for theft of the purse. You understand that? Do you understand English good? Okay, maybe you'll say yes or no, so I understand that you understand me. Yes. What's that? Yes. Yes, you do understand? Yes. Okay. Okay, you're not obliged to say anything, but anything you do say may be used in court. Do you understand that? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to talk to the victim and find out uh, what's up there. Did you want to put yours on? Well, okay, we'll just leave them on there for a sec. Okay. Just up on the airport. From the airport? From Holland. Yeah. Just why we're taking dinner. Oh, yeah. So he took your purse? This guy? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. What's wrong with this? In the back. On a, on a chair. You know, he hand, he hand the handbag on the chair. Okay, where did this actually happen? So that guy come in. He okay, just... where, whereabouts did this happen, though? Where did it happen? Where? Yeah, whereabouts was she? In the, in the restaurant. restaurant. In the restaurant, on Kingsway? Yeah, Kingsway, yeah. Okay. Kingsway and uh, Ruben, uh, I mean the Earth. Was there anybody else in the restaurant who saw this guy do it? Mm. Did yeah. any? We were also oh, you were all sitting yeah. together? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Table. We have 40 so, people in one table. So the person that's that's caught here today, is it the same person? Yeah. It is. They go all Okay, so you'll be able to identify him when it yeah. goes to court? Yeah. Okay, what I need from you, you can write in, in uh, English as well as speaking Chinese and translate? Yeah, Chinese is better. Okay, what I'd like is I'd like a statement, okay? Yeah. Exactly what happened and uh, also uh, what happened in the restaurant. Yeah. Okay? Okay, can we do it now or? Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you some papers to, uh, to do that with. Yeah, I see. Okay. So when, when you should keep up the purse for, for her? The, the, the purse? So she can have back her purse now. I just want to make sure it's all there. Make sure you didn't. Was there cash in the purse? Yeah. Okay, how much cash was in there? Uh, about a few hundred so Canadian have, money there. Say German money, mark can, and Holland money, yeah, all, all kind of all okay. Kind of okay, we'll check the purse and make sure it's all there. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay. thanks. Yeah. okay, you may as well stand up. You know this happened in the restaurant up in Kingsway. Yes. Yeah. Which way was he actually running then? So he's so actually no, no, no. okay. Very so so. Have you looked in the purse? No, I haven't. Because apparently there's a whole bunch of cash in there, all mixed uh, foreign straight, countries. She's only been in here for a couple hours. I know she's yeah. been here. Did you take any cash out of the purse, or is everything all there? You didn't have a chance to take anything out. Okay. Five Echo 12. Five Echo 12. Yeah, we're going to need a wagon up here for an adult. 10 4 Delta 6, 3 is on route. 10 4. It's not a good plan to do this, you know? Because you always get caught, especially when there's so many sheriffs around. <laughs> Okay, here's... Thank you very much. <laughs> these are the, uh, the fellows that are responsible. Yeah, right. These right. are the sheriffs. Thank you very much. He's the victim. 
Thanks, guys. It's not always like this, eh? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, I need statements from you, boys, so it's not over yet. <laughs> okay? Okay. Good. Thank you, sir. Going to be attending to the uh, Eighth and Fraser area. There's a complaint of, uh, of a, a girl in a short black dress uh, working the corner there, the northwest corner is where she was last seen. So we're going to go uh, see if we can locate her, talk to her a little bit, see what she's up to, and if she's, uh, if it's obvious she's doing some hooking or admits to it or whatever, we're just going to have her leave the area. I'll be 22. I'll be 21. We're 22. Come on. So How no. old are you really? No, I'm 21. I was born September 9th, 1972. September 9th, 1972. Yeah, September 9th, 1972. Okay. All right. How long have you been around here? I haven't seen you before. Not that long. Well, how long? But I'm walking that way. I'm on my way. See no, there is no, no. I don't mean just how long you've been around here today. I mean, how long have you been around here? How long have you been in the city? How long have been in the city? Yeah. For a year. A year? You've been working? Where? What area have you been working all the time? I haven't seen you around this area. Different areas. Uh, what mainly area? What area have you been working? I used to work for back and forth. Yeah, what happened there? How come you're up here now? Because I got people looking for me. Why? Why? Yeah. Because just personal. Thanks, officer. It's just personal. I don't see any tracks. Because I'm not a junkie. Okay, so what? Uh, I'm not a drug user. I'm not. Okay. Well, that's it. That's okay. I'm not upset about it. I, I, if you don't use drugs, that's fine with me. No, but I just don't want you to think that I'm a druggie or anything no. like that. No, yeah, you seem pretty straight. Yeah, what, yeah. what are people looking for you for? What's it about? Just personal, just mm. personal beef. I'm a caring kind of guy. What's What oh, kind yeah, of personal yeah. beef? Just, I don't know, just personal kind of like argument. Well, like what, work in the territory down there? Oh, is no, that no, it? no, 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 no. You know, you're not getting like pushed out by a pimp or anything like that? Oh, no, 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 I don't no? have a pimp. You don't have a pimp? No, oh, what about other pimps? Hassling you. There was one a long time ago, but I mean, he hasn't seen me. I didn't bother me nothing. So. Okay. You know, uh, there's a big push on in this area right yeah, now. I know. The people just are not happy. I know. That's why I'm trying to keep nonchalant. It, it's know? pretty, it's, it's, it's going to be really hard. hard. It's hard. I'm just trying to make some money. So, how long have you been in Vancouver now? How they long? chased you out of Surrey? Yeah. How long have you been out here now? I've been in Vancouver for a year. I just went there for one day. Okay, how did you how come you got chased out of Surrey? What's that story? Oh, because a cop tricked me. <laughs> no! Can you yeah. believe that, eh? I know. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Listen, where are you living now? I've been in Surrey till August 3rd. Where are you living right now? Um, I stay in motels. Okay, where are you living right now, tonight? Tonight probably city center. I don't have a room number yet. This, this isn't good what you're doing, you know. No, I know. It's very dangerous work. Yeah, well, not just that. It's, uh, this is not the area to be in. So do you want me to move? I can move. I'll be very cooperative. Well, you have to kind of understand because, how the people around here feel. Yes, I do, actually. I really do. Okay. Because I, myself, I'm a very compassionate person. You sure you're 21? But, yes, I am 21. I'll be 22, September 9th. Do you have any uh, I don't look it. Yes, I do. How many? How many? Just one. 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 Boy, She's girl? girl. Three. Where is she right now? She's in Edmonton with her dad. With her dad? Yeah. Does okay, he know so what he... you're doing? Does he? I don't know. I haven't been with him for two years. I really don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, so you're not the caregiver of the child. The dad is? No, okay. the dad is. So he has custody? Yep. Yeah. Everything okay on the... Uh... Yeah, she's just not supposed to be in Surrey. No, and I'm pretty Surrey, aware. So. Yeah, I'm pretty aware that I'm not going to be going there till August 3rd. So. Okay. I'm going to check out all my tattoos. No thanks. And everything. No, they're fine. Okay. So now Would you can move on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, officers. Not this area, though. No, I'm going that way because the bus is that way and I can go that How way. How are you going to pay for the bus? How am I going to pay for the bus? Yeah. Because you have no money in that purse. I know. I'm so just you'll have to walk, so there's no point going on the bus then. I guess not, eh? I guess I'm gonna be having a long walk. A bit of a walk. It's a nice day anyway. Yeah, it is a beautiful day, but no, I won't stand here anymore. Okay. Watch me. All right. Okay. We will. Okay. So take out your guns. This is a residential area, and all the people are fed up with the uh, 
you know, the prostitutes in the streets, a lot of people have kids out, they're afraid not to let them out on the front streets because the girls are working the corners and the Johns are driving around. And uh, a lot of them have banded together and uh, started a program called Shame the Johns. And it's all part and parcel of trying to move the prostitutes off the street and uh, to other parts of the city where they're not in residential areas. So anytime we get a complaint, uh, most of the complaints we get are from the people involved in the Shame the Johns program. And uh, they inform us when girls are in an area, you know, uh, causing some traffic problems or just hanging around. So we come and check them out a little bit.